If you're a budget traveler or you just like to save money because let's be real, who doesn't like to save money? Then listen up because today I'm going to show you all the ways that you can save money in New York City. When you come here, you really don't need to exchange your currency because most places take credit cards. You can literally get around everywhere with these. But if you do need to exchange your currency, please don't do it at the airport or at currency exchange places in Times Square because you get terrible rates. Instead, just go to an ATM and pull the money out right there. It's the best rate. Just make sure that your debit card company doesn't have any foreign transaction fees before you do that. Instead of buying souvenirs in Times Square where they'll charge you upwards of like $20 for one of those I Love New York t-shirts, just come here to Chinatown on Canal Street where you can get the same t-shirt for literally $5. Plus, you have all types of other souvenirs here and everything's just way, way cheaper so you can get probably like 10 items for the price of what you would pay for one item in Times Square. A guaranteed way to save tons of money is to actually come between January and March and that is because it's our least popular season here. We have the least amount of tourists which means you have the least amount of crowds and you get the best prices because all of the prices drop when there's the least amount of tourists. So coming during that time frame is definitely the best way to save money. Make sure that you come with a coat because it's very cold then. Uh, that's normally why tourists don't come. You can do most of the the things you can do year round in the winter. I actually have a whole video on things to do in the winter, so if you're looking for some cool, interesting things that locals do, head over to that video and you'll see all my tips. Instead of taking taxis, take our subway system with the unlimited metro card, which looks like this right here. If you get a weekly one, it's $32 and you can use it literally unlimited times. Um, for a taxi, a $32 ride will get you from like Brooklyn to Manhattan. So one ride or unlimited rides, hmm, it's a tough one. <laughs> Instead of spending your money at a hotel in Times Square, spend it at an Airbnb. Hotels are on average $350 a night here in New York and an Airbnb, you can get a really nice one outside of the city for like $70 or $80. And below I have a link where you can get $40 credit for free and that's how you can book your first Airbnb. So if you've already used Airbnb, unfortunately that credit doesn't apply to you, but if you haven't, I really recommend it. I've stayed in Airbnbs all over the city just to test them out. Definitely look for like the $70 to $100 price range outside of the city to get some place that's really nice. And make sure you read the reviews because that is super essential when you're staying in Airbnbs. I always recommend booking for a super host, that normally means that you'll have a really good experience no matter what. Instead of eating at restaurants to save money, you can eat at food carts and trucks like this one. Here you can get an empanada for $1.50. I also have an entire video all about budget restaurants and budget places to eat. I'll link that below so you can check it out. And that, all of the stuff in there is under $9. So no matter what, I got you covered on the prices with the food, don't worry. Now, drinking in New York is very expensive. For a glass like this of wine, you can expect to pay around like $12 to $16, depending on where you are. So I recommend doing happy hour prices. I'll link below an article that has tons of great happy hour deals here. And that is a great way to save money in New York. You're looking at like six to $8 a drink. It really doesn't get better than that. And of course, Free things are the best way to save money, naturally. I have a whole video on free things to do in New York, so I'll link that below, but definitely check it out where I show you the most amazing free things to do in New York that, in my opinion, are actually worth it because a lot of the time, free things don't really feel like they're worth it because there's so many crowds or it's just poor quality, but all the things I highlight in this video I think are really cool, really unique, so check that out, and they're free, so literally zero dollars for you that is the best way to save some cash when you literally don't spend it in the first place 
Broadway is the number one attraction here, but you shouldn't have to pay full price on tickets. There are so many ways to get discounted Broadway tickets so you can save more money. I have a whole video about how you can save money buying Broadway tickets, so click below to watch that and, you know, use that money for something else. No matter if you live in New York or you're vacationing here, Probably one of the best ways to save money is to eat at home, and I recommend doing that at least for one meal a day, if not two. I mean, that's what we're doing, right, Louie? What are you making tonight? Hmm? Making some stew and some bread. Yes. So, make sure you eat at home. Breakfast is an easy choice, but breakfast is always the cheapest thing in New York, so if you can have dinner at home, that will save you even more money. Instead of taking a taxi from the airport, which can cost you around $50, use public transportation. I have a whole video on how you can get from all of the airports to the city center, and this will save you tons of money. Instead of buying bottled water, I recommend bringing your own water bottle with you. This is something that I travel with all the time, and the thing about New York City is the tap water is completely safe to drink, and it's actually some of the best tap water in the US. So just by carrying this around, you'll save probably like $10 a day, because I'm sure they're charging like three to $4 a bottle here in New York. Go to Starbucks, they're happy to fill this up for you for free. A lot of restaurants are also happy to do that. Um, it's just a really simple way to save some money while you're here. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Sarah Funky, and watch my other New York City videos. I have tons of them. I'll see you next time.